Here's an opportunity. Couldn't resist. Couldn't resist. 1944. The tide of war has turned. The Axis is on the run. Forced out of North Africa, losing ground in Italy. Everyone knows what the next step is. An invasion of mainland Europe, mounted from England. But nobody knows when or where the blow will fall. Agents from SOE work alongside the resistance, always chasing rumors. Trying to stay one step ahead of the Germans' efforts to turn the tide back in their favor. An animal is always most dangerous when it's cornered. And the Reich is baring its teeth. Since 42, they have been fortifying the coast building their great Atlantic Wall. Special units of Allied commandos attack points along the coast, making the Germans look this way, then that, keeping them guessing, hunting for gaps in the armor, cracks in the wall. Fairburn, Captain says we'll be surfacing in five. Clear on your orders? We wait for air cover from our boys in the RAF. And once they start their raid, we use the distraction break on the beach. Your team destroys the coastal defenses to the west. I neutralize the defenses here and proceed inland to rendezvous with Blue Viper at the safe house in town. As quietly as possible. I don't want to come back to the beach and find the place crawling with Germans. If they spot the sub before you blow those guns, me and my team will be stuck here. I can do quiet. You'd better. That's our cue. Okay, Fairburn. There are the searchlights. Show me what you can do. We aren't landing with those searchlights up. Take them out. All right. Hello, everyone. In case you haven't noticed, we are playing Sniper Elite 5. This just came out. I literally just loaded it up and tested to make sure that, uh, Everything was working and whatnot, and, uh, we are in it fresh. In it absolutely fresh. Alright, yep, so if, uh, any of you have played the other Sniper Elite games, this is more of that. So, I can, uh, activate Empty Lung here, so... Nice, uh, action cam, as always. Alright, great detail as always. Wow, it even showed, like, the guts of the lights, uh... ...busting up. It's cool. Good stuff. Let's see if I can, uh, do this without the empty lung. Nope. Nope. There we go. Guess I'm not ready for that yet. Alright. Yep, this is more of the same. This is more Sniper Elite. Okie right. dokie. See you on the other side, Sullivan. We're back with our man Carl here. Thank you for watching, everyone.
As you know, my name is Logan, and we're playing Sniper Elite. Uh, I was really anxious to check out this game. Uh, some of you probably know my friend Steve from a couple of the other videos I put up. We played a lot of Sniper Elite 4 uh, in the past year or two, so we were excited for this to come out. Yep, this is... this is more of that. Okay. Should be able to climb my way up there. Get a good vantage point down on the beach. Climbing? Yeah, this is exactly like Sniper Elite 4. It's just a little shinier. I think I'm okay with that though. I was ready for Sniper Elite 4, for Sniper Elite 5. Quite honestly. Alright, need to secure the area. Alright. What do I- okay, yep, I've got a pistol. Silence pistol. Can I do the old, uh... Old takedown? I'll pacify him. You get to live today. He'll be part of a patrol. Should keep to the shadows. Don't want to get caught out. Search him. Always hide the bodies. It's all coming back to me. You never quite forget how to play these games, you know? They are sort of cookie cutter, but uh, there was some really cool stuff coming out about this one. Alright, so they're telling us how to take cover. I wonder if I wait for that dude to turn his back, can I gank him off that cargo net? Let's try. Seems like if I'm a patient boy, I can... Oh, okay, so that's the ping button. I wanted to gank him off this cargo net. Ah, oh, well. You also get to live. I haven't seen you, uh, do anything particularly heinous except associate with Nazis, so... You get to live today. Nothing else. Just a soldier. Not a- you don't seem like an idea guy to me. Man, these guys talk so loud. <laughs> it's a dead giveaway of where they are. Slank on over here. Officers often carry important. Okay, cool. I'm gonna see if I can... Slink him. You know what? You are an ideas guy. You are going to die tonight. I wonder. Okay, so pistol. Suppressed. Uh. Whistle. Yep, still got that old whistle. Still got that old whistle. Officer's likely to have something important on him. Should check the body. Yep. As I said, he died. I kind of fumbled through there, but I'll take it. Throw you. This grass could make some useful cover. Oh, it could. Ooh, yeah, you could still booby trap the bodies. Yep, all same stuff. Military papers. Should have a look, see what's going on here. Intelligence gathering. Nice. According to this, the 
SS captured a resistance cell in the town last week. It must be Blue Viper's network. Blue Viper. Sounds like quite a person. Got to secure my contact. Can't just leave them to die if they've been captured. See where these dudes go. Alright, these dudes broke off. They're uh, facing different directions. Could probably pop him. I can get him right now. Easy. Move over to you. She'll take you down. Car oh, he's got a car 98k on him. Cool, alright. Can't find anything else. Grenade and standard rifle rounds. I'm not a grenade kind of guy. Steve is. If I play this with him, you'll you'll know. We have different uh different ways of playing this game. So it's always interesting when we play together. He's usually the loud guy. I like to try and sneak, but I usually fail. It's fun though. That's what's important. That'll be where they're holding the resistance. Got to get past these Nazis and get inside. Okay, need the whistle. Sneaking through some grass. Over there. Let's forget about the enemy tagging. Yeah, these are just regular, regular infantry dudes. Can I pull this guy over the wall? I would love to. I would love to. Uh, missed my window. Missed my window. I wonder... Uh, can I move this way, get up top, and go through the building? Looks like I might be able to. Wie schwer kann es denn sein, die zu brechen und an die Informationen zu kommen? No. Did I get myself stuck here? Oh, there's a there's a third, an officer, over there. All right, that scout is looking in my direction, so I can't move right now. I think what I'll do is pop you. Alright, they don't know exactly what's going on yet. So if I play it cool... You know what? We did get a couple of grenades. Maybe we go a bit loud? We have to pick our moment though. Alright, alright, you're going... You're going down, my friend. Think that's roughly right? Yep. Shred them. Alright. Grenades still work. Good to know. Good to know. Alright, that went a little sideways, but... 
Oh, is that a sniper? Oh, it is. I see you. I see you, my friend. It is a cat and mouse game, which you will lose, my friend. I know there's a way to... Uh, ADS? Yeah. Alright, well, that was a bit messy, but... Part of the game. Some of the most fun in this game that I've ever had... Is play. when things go sideways, and you have to sort of deal with it. Um, I'm usually a perfectionist uh, when it comes to these type of games. I like to try and do everything 100% stealth. To get in there before but the past late. few years, I, I've really gotten into uh, just letting things play. And let's see, that's Charlie. Blue Viper, is it? Oh no, Charlie! Thanks. I just needed a distraction. She's from, uh, four. The in Ostend is better this time of year. <laughs> but France has better food. You're my contact. You're the desert ghost. <laughs> I should have known. Good to see you, Blue Viper. Yep. Yeah, Leo chose that code name, not me. But they found cool. us anyway. In spite of all the codes. Betrayed? Maybe. I think so. I can't be sure. They tried to make us talk, and when we wouldn't, my god, they killed the whole town, everyone. All thanks to a bastard named Moller. They split us up. Some of my men might still be alive. That was a Somewhere weird cut. In this place. <laughs> weird animation. <laughs> this game's a bit rough. You're in no shape to fight. Where can we meet? All right, you win. The safe house is blown. There's a farmhouse just north of the town. I'll find it. I like her accent. It's cool. Uh, one more thing. One of my men, Marcel, he hid information in a loose panel under his bed. The key for it was sewn into the hem of his trousers. They may not have found him yet. Look for the house with the yellow brickwork. Yellow brickwork. thing in the village. You can't okay. miss it. Got it. It is good to see you again. <laughs> you too, old friend. That's cool. Nice that they somehow make continuity from all of these games. It's weird how Carl has been on, like, pretty much every front. Well, they've done the entire European front. I wouldn't be surprised if the next one they send send them to Japan, or something like that. Bolt cutters. This will help. Didn't even know I needed that, but video game logic. It was highlighted. Should focus. Get an idea of their position. Ah, uh, yeah, they have this. Okay. It's it's a weird because it's the same button as the binocular button. So Okay, so it's hold to start, hold to release. Verdammte Partisan. Hebt auf. Ihr habt den Krieg doch schon verloren. Okay, so bolt cutters help you force open locks. Why would you why would I force this lock? I'm gonna sneak up on this guy. Like this. You get to live. You look like just a kid to me. This would be a good place to check my weapons before hitting the field. Stock up on supplies as well. Nade, SMG ammo. What's he got on him? That's all. Subsonic. Nice! Yeah, subsonic rifle rounds, so that- so it's like the gimmicky silencer. Those subsonic. Okay, yeah. So if I want to be extra sneaky, extra quiet. 
Yeah, so this workbench thing is supposed to be like the thing uh, for this game. It's like the new thing. So let's figure it out. At a workbench, you can change and customize your weapons. Okay. To change your weapon, select it and choose a weapon from the list that appears. Wow, I've got uh, stuff unlocking too. Okay. I, I got it. Power, the effective range and damage of your weapon, fire rate, how quickly your weapon reloads, control, the recoil and stability, accuracy of your weapon, mobility, the impact a weapon has on your movement and aim speed. Audible distance, how far away the weapon can be heard by enemies, that's useful. Magazine size is magazine size. And then zoom is your maximum scope zoom, okay. So, I've got this equipped right now, I believe. Uh, the SREM1, so I believe that is Special Reconnaissance M1. I think that is the best I've got right now. So, I'll stick with it. Can I change the gear, though? Workbench customization. Okay. Increases damage, reduces bullet drop and windage. Okay. And this is a uh, heavy barrel. Reduces recoil, also reduces mobile. Ah, uh, I'll, I'll stick with balanced. Dramatically reduces recoil. Anti-tank muzzle. I don't think I need any of this stuff. Magazine, standard issue. Stock. Here we go. Reduces time t taken to reload, thanks to the location. Okay, yeah. So this actually has a benefit. So I will do that. For grip, none, not an option. Receiver. Short travel trigger, why not? And construction, standard. Cosmetic, standard. You know what? Let's go with the extended marksman. Let's have a little fun. And... Let's go with the muzzle brake. Nineteen oh three, close... Ah, uh, I like the sight we have so far. Okay, yeah, this... we'll go with the Thompson. It, it only makes sense. Standard barrel option, okay. So it seems like I have to use these weapons more to, uh... to go forth, so... I'll go with the Thompson, and then, yeah, 1911. 1911's good. Oh, you can take the suppressor off of it. That's interesting. I wasn't aware they had suppressed 1911s back then. I could be wrong, though. I'm not really a gun guy. I'm only a gun guy to the extent uh, that I've seen them in movies and TV and video games, but I digress. Let's go. I can retool my gear at any other workbenches I find. Should keep an eye out. Keep my loadout on point for the job. Powerful 1903. Okay. Wait, so I have two rifles now. Oh, th this one's like a spesh. Like a special, right? Okay. So I can carry this one for now. Only has three rounds. Okay, that's cool. So there's, there's like unique weapons you can find. Okay, yeah, and I can... And so this is a long gun. This 1903. Okay. Let's move on.
I like this so far. Oh! Gonna need to get that guy. Wow! Detailed view of that warhead. And they spotted the sub. The sub is done. Sorry, dudes. Okay. They know we're here. That radar tower is still operational. Carl's ready. It's <laughs> like not today. There's the radar. Looks like the air raid didn't take it out. I'll have to do this the old-fashioned way. All right, so I can get a summary of my objectives. Here you can see the map, the area you're finding in. Yep, yep, yep. So it seems like both my objectives are there. You get you get workbenches. Okay, so both my objectives are there. They're right there. Alright, so let's do some scoping. Friedrich Weber. Okay. Vehicle. Alright, I'm gonna push up. It's cool how you can, like, temporarily have a, uh, another rifle on you. I like that. Is that just artifacting, or is there, like, a... a Guy over here, person. I, th I think now would be the time to find a nice spot and uh, do some sniping. I think I would certainly like to. Although the smart play would be to slink around this checkpoint via this tall grass and these sandbags here, so I'll do that. I caused a bit of a ruckus, but let's see if I can recover. Wow, that reload is quick. I'm glad I got that attachment. Okay, we got more coming. Yep, this is just this is just like oh, they they have active reloads. Yep, this is just like the other game. You can just, uh... Is that a person? I can't tell. No, it's nothing. Like a glitch to me. I like- I like the stealth angle. Stealth angle is good, and it is nice. But I enjoy- I also enjoy the fact that this setup is relatively flexible. And you can kind of just shoot your way out of stuff when you need to. Ugh, that is gonna destroy me. The, the fact that the binoculars and, uh... And, uh... 
Oh yeah, you can do the good old change cover swap maneuver. Oh, peepholes. I can be a creeper! I can be a creeper, looking through the spy holes. Okay, so tagging applies through the spy holes. That's good to know. So you can be, you can be a little creep. You can be a little creep. I'll keep on creeping. This guy gets to live. He just looks like a kid to me. I think he'll be safe here. Not sure. Alright, we're gonna push up to the objective. Someone can see me. Supposedly. Ah, yes, you. I think he's the only sniper out here. I think there's another one. Gotta be at least one more. Let's be tactical and be sure. Because if I can tag both of them, I can drop them in rapid succession and that's what we want. Unless it's a liability for me to leave this guy uh, uh, alive. Can I range him? 130 meters. All right, so let's do, let's zero. 100 meters. Oh, there's a spotter right there. Alright. Best thing to do? I don't know how that spotter doesn't see me. I might just have, like, the perfect amount of cover. I'm gonna wait until he stops. This guy stops. Moving. Pop him. Pop him. Boosh. All right, now this guy's got to be freaking out. This guy right in front of me, yeah? What happened to him? All right, so they're hunting me, but they don't know exactly. Okay. Oh no, he knows. He knows. See ya. Oh no! Oh no! Oh! First death. Count it. That was like a, uh... That was, that was like a solid snake death. Right there. Alright. Reload. Let's try again. All right, yeah, so it sets me back here. All right, let's do this for real, peoples. I was a bit too hasty. 
I did not do sufficient scouting. This is a good spot to scout. Alright, got him. I can rank up. There he is. Oh, weird. I don't know if that's like a tech issue or something, but this guy is not visible. Unless I'm within a certain range. That's very strange. I'm going to try something different instead of going straight up the middle. I'm going to stay in these tracks, in these pits here. And I'm going to slowly slink around. Because really all I got to do is get over there. The mud looks real nice. I like the look of that mud. Good looking mud. Sabotage vehicle to create a loud area. Okay. I can sound mask. Okay. So sound masking is back. So now If I'm careful and pick my shots... Almost. Almost. Alright, gotta wait. Now. Yep, so that dude's gone. Now I've got to, uh... You know what? I might as well booby trap this. I don't think there's any detriment to this. I'm not going to use the sound mask for anything else. Yeah. Although, hold on. I did get some subsonic rounds. Yeah. So I do have the subsonic rounds, so if I wanted to split heads silently, or at least quietly, I've got the option. Alright, I'll just keep slinking. Oh, and I, st I still have, like, light sound masking out here. Yeah, they just make you out to be, like, a complete predator. You can you can spot people so easily.
All right, let's see. That shot is a little far for me. Don't quite have the eyeball for that. I'm not taking the chance. Close. That almost that almost blew my entire operation. Plan Violet. Take out local communications. Forces the Nazis onto the radio, and Bletchley can listen to every little thing they say. That's a good plan. Guess I grabbed everything useful. Guess you did. If I plant explosives on the radar's pillars. I should be able to bring it down. Maybe I can find some in the Germans' ammo crates. Oh, we got a we, we we got a boy, right there. He's he's moving down the trench. Ah, you get to live. You are just a child, my friend. No, I guess... You'll be good in here. This is awkward. How long are we going to do this? I did put a booby trap on that guy. I don't know if it's gonna pay off though. But it might. Keeps him out of action for a while. Trench networks connected to the radar control bunker. That's one way in. Yep, go to sleep. No more to find here. I 
I put a trap there, didn't I? This guy's hunting me. Little does he know. It is I... hunting you, my friend. And I think that was still masked. Seemed like maybe it was fun, but... Come on over, my, my dude. Come on over. How many satchel charges can you carry? Nothing else to find. I guess we'll find out. Ooh. Here's an opportunity. Couldn't resist. Couldn't resist. Oh, and they, they they super wanted wanted that to happen. I mean, they super wanted that to happen. They all but asked for that to happen. When you put a grenade that close to, uh, to three targets, they were hoping for that outcome. Yes. Oh, they fell, uh, they fell for my grenade. That's interesting. They said something about heavy doors. See ya. I'm probably overthinking it. It's probably just around the corner. It's probably literally just around the corner. Done. Okay. Yeah. 
Let's see. Are you gonna come down here and... I've got subsonics. Yeah. Done. I could scale it and plant the charges. What's my secondary though? Oh, option B is find the radar's uh, power source. I wonder. I'll take this. this. Seems good for clearing. Maybe if I can find the generators, I can disable the radar. Maybe. Bottles, bandages. Ah, uh, decoy. That's interesting. A crowbar. Just what I need for sabotaging Nazi installations. Those were not generators? I think we must be getting close. For a fortified bunker. Nice. I should pay these a visit. Generator's overloaded. Gotta find a breaker switch so I can fry the whole system. Okay. Breaker switch, breaker switch. That looks like one. It's not. Sounds like a big gun. Must be what hit the submarine. 
I need to find it and take it out. There he is. <sighs> Missed the first one. Embarrassing. I'm gonna switch away from my... Subsonic. Thank you so much for watching. That was Sniper Elite 5. Hope you really enjoyed this video of me checking it out. I've got more to come in the future. Uh, Steve and I are hard at work on uh, several other videos. We've got at least one more Wildlands video coming your way soon. We actually hopped into Arma 3 and uh, have been working on some stuff with that Arma Reforger. So uh, please stay tuned for that, but uh, hope you liked this one. Uh, don't forget to like, subscribe, and comment, all that good stuff, and I will see you in the next one.